Good morning. Welcome to Joy in the Morning. This is a double pane window that is in our spring house along our driveway at home. And I've driven up and down the driveway for probably a year. And I've noticed that the pane has been broken and shattered. The other day I was running the weed whacker around trying to clean things up and it's interesting how the Holy Spirit works in our lives and in our minds and I stopped and I just I just looked at that and I thought wow isn't that just like isn't that just like my life isn't that just like our lives We can be going along in life and and everything's good and we seem to think that we've got it all under control and we've got it all handled. And then something happens that creates a brokenness in our lives. Something happens that shatters our lives. And you know, the pieces may not all fall apart at one time. They just, you know, they just, over time, just keep dropping out like the pieces of that glass. You know, we may be hurt, but not really notice how broken that we are at first. Not notice how we allow Satan to come into that crack or crevice that was created in that brokenness. And we, we start going down a path that, mm, it's, it's not the path that the Lord wants us to take. And over time, if we don't get a hold of that, reel it back in, get it under control. Then things just continue falling apart on us. That shattered glass, our shattered lives, just start falling away. And we get further and further away from the Lord. Now, there are certainly things that happen our li in our lives that, that are not of our doing, are completely out of our control. But that doesn't mean that the Lord's not there with us to help us through. And as I looked at this window, while it was so obvious about the brokenness, and the shatteredness, I looked at that back pane of glass and realized that that represents Jesus, the Holy Spirit, our Lord. It's still solid. It's still there. It's still held together and, and holding that that window together. That's what he does in our lives when we're broken, when we feel shattered. I always want to encourage you and and get you to understand that there is hope no matter what we are going through. There's light at the end of the tunnel. Our Lord 
and Savior never leaves us, especially, especially through our brokenness. I don't know where you are in life right now. You might be high on the mountain or down in the valley. But I hope you know that the Lord is with you. Psalm 30, verse 5, from the New Living Translation. For his anger lasts only a moment, but his favor lasts a lifetime. Weeping may last through the night, but joy comes with the morning. The new day always brings us the opportunity for new grace, new mercy, new blessings through our Lord Jesus. If you don't know him as your Lord and Savior, call the number that's posted. Reach out to me if you would like. Visit us at Mountaintop Ministry for a service. Sunday mornings at 8 or 10. Maybe come out to a Wednesday night service at 7. If you need to be encouraged, come be surrounded by people that know and love the Lord. But listen, at one point in time in all of our lives, we've been broken and our lives have been shattered. We just rely on our Lord Jesus Christ to get us through each new day. I hope you're blessed this day. I pray that you can see the good in each and every new day that God blesses you with. Take care.